What's up guys, Pyromaniac720 here and I have for you um, round one from the Nugget Bridge Live on February 22nd. Um, so my team for this live was Shiftry, Ninetales, Scizor, Swampert, uh, Mega Salamence, and Terrakion. So the idea of the team basically was, um, it basically was supposed to function like Polyludi except I had Shiftry, Shiftry Ninetales instead. Um, I hadn't had much practice with the team. I just gotten it done. I had a lot of practice on Showdown, but I didn't have a lot of in-game practice with it. I just gotten it done last night. Um, so, you know, I figured I might as well enter it in the live because I really want to use it in the IC. Um, so my first opponent was Bomb, who I've never heard of. Um, he leads Togekiss Breloom. Um, and I lead Shift 3 Ninetales, which I led in almost every match. Um... <clears throat> Uh, for those of you who don't know, Shiftry gets access to Fake Out and also has Chlorophyll, so it has, you know, one of the fastest Fake Outs in the game. Um, my opponent switches out the Breloom and switches in Heatran, which is semi-bad news for me because I did not bring Terrakion to this match. And Terrakion is one of my two ways to deal with Heatran, the other one being um, uh, Swampert. But now this Heatran is really dangerous because A, got a Flash Fire boost, and B, it's at... It's going to be firing off attacks in the sun as my opponent sets up Tailwind here with Togekiss. Um, so my sh so Shiftry has base 80 speed and I run max speed uh, Adamant on it. So even under the Tailwind, I'm faster because of Chlorophyll. So I'm immediately able to set up my Tailwind on my own, which is nice. Um, meanwhile, this Heatran ends up going for a substitute, which kind of sucks because... You know, I have really no way to get around it. Um, I don't mind. If I'm, my Ninetales is Choice Scarf. I don't even mind firing off these um, these Heat Waves anymore just because he only gets one Flash Fire boost. He doesn't keep continually getting them, so I don't really mind just firing off Heat Waves at this point because he's already at plus one, so at this point, it doesn't really matter. Although, I really should have switched. The big issue keeping me from switching was I was fearing a Heat Wave from this Heatran, which would have really done a lot of damage. Um, so I knock off the Heatran um, and fire off another Heat Wave. Um, at least I break the sub and I bring the Togekiss down to Heat Wave Tail range. As each turn fires a Heat Wave of its own, um, bring, sit, sit, bring Shift Tree down to its Sash. Um, <laughs> Shift Tree Sash isn't, that's tough to say, but, um, and Togekiss goes to the air, air Slash on Shift Tree. So Shift Tree faints this turn, um, but it's not of the world because I do still have, um, uh, my Scarf Nine Tails at full health. And now I get a free switch into, um, Swampert in the back, which is awesome because now I can hit this Heatran finally. Um, so I figured the Tokyo was going to use Follow Me, but my Heat Wave is going to go before um, the Earth Power anyway. So as long as I don't miss the Heat Wave, I'm going to kill the Tokyo and I can just Earth Power the Heatran. And Tokyo ends up fainting. Um, unfortunately, Heatran is still faster because we both have Tailwind up currently. Uh, so my Earth Power is just going to break its sub. Which kind of sucks, because I really want to get this Heatran off the field as soon as possible. Um, I think once I get the Heatran off the field, I have a pretty, I'm going to have a pretty good time against my opponent's team. But like I said, the Heatran is definitely what's causing me issues right now. And it's continually getting uh, healing back with leftovers. As my opponent's Tailwind Peter's out. And my opponent now sends out Gyarados. We can see double Intimidate off. Um, this Gyarados is definitely an issue. Because I'm pretty sure it was the only Mega Evolution on his team, so it was kind of obvious that it was going to be the Mega. Um, I do make a risky play here and switch out um, Ninetales for Scizor. I do so expecting the Heatran to go for another sub or protect. Um, if the Heatran protects, then um, then I get Scizor for free. And if the Heatran subs, then I move faster than it because I still have one more turn of Tailwind. Um, but it does protect, and the Gyarados goes for a Dragon Dance, which definitely is not good for me. Um, because now this Gyarados is at plus one attack and speed. Um, and the Sunlight fades, so now its its Waterfalls are back to regular power. Um, if I had one more turn of Sun, I could have been in decent shape, too. Um, so I protect with Scizor here. Uh, while Gyarados goes for the Waterfall onto Swampert. It is going to bring Swampert down to 48 health, let's say, as the Heat Wave comes out. What I should have... See, that was a, a pretty poor play on, that, on my part. What I probably should have done there, anticipating the, the the Heat Wave, 
was wide guarded and then bug bite at the Gyarados. Because once I got Gyarados off the field, I would have been in much better shape. Um, so I sent Ninetales back out. At this at this point, it's it's over. I have no way to hit this Heatran. I have Ninetales with two Fire Attacks, Solar Beam, and Extra Sensory, and Scissor with Bug Bite, Bullet Punch, and Faint. So I mean, like, really nothing I can do. So I go for the Faint on Gyarados. Um, and then I whip out a Solar Beam also. Still faster than it because of my Choice Scarf. Um, and I'm not even able to KO. Gyarados is a pretty bulky Pokemon. And of course, Solar Beam is not Stab. And Ninetales doesn't have a very high special attack to begin with. Um, and Gyarados just goes for the Crunch on Ninetales, which is going to do a you know, easy easy KO. Ninetales doesn't have very high defense or HP, so... Um, so, I mean, once, once Swampert went down, I knew the match was over. I should have brought Terrakion, and I thought about it. I don't remember exactly what scared me away from it, but I saw the Gyarados, which I saw was the Mega, and I saw the Heatran, which I saw, you know, obviously he gets Oko'd by close combat. So I probably should have brought it, but I I don't remember what I feared. I think what feared what scared me the most was the Breloom firing off Bullet Seeds and Mock Punches, especially because it's going to be Sashed. But poor, mis poor mistake on my part, and I start the live 0-1, so stay tuned for round 2.